I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We should have a good one on tap here today. It's the Browns coming in at 5 and 6, going up against the Bengals, who come in at 11 and 0. Now the forecast calling for more of the same of what we're seeing right now a steady coat of fresh snow here at First Energy Stadium in downtown Cleveland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. Round. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. 23 yards on the play. carry now this is Alvin Kamara and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory they'll get 14 on that one good for a bangle first down that O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Second down, Kamara. And some space here. The 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. down over the middle complete that's Gordon and they'll get him down here at the 23 now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player while the training staff takes a peek we'll take a break eight yards to go here on second down The first carry now, this is Johnson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. 
Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. On first and ten, it's Peterman. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. After the penalty, it's Crowell. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Let's go! On third down, Peterman. And complete to Moncrief over the middle. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Hurry up, here we go. Hurry up. They'll try and throw for it with Peterman. And he's got Moncrief. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but the big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Peterman on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Our first half update now from Philadelphia. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Peterman. That's in Joku over the middle. And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground at the 23. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Zane Gonzalez now to try the Browns' field goal. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And the kick by Gonzalez he is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? 
bend but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. 12 plays were run out of. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. The Bengals getting set to go. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. Did you trade sixes for threes? Things are going to work out in your favor. That's complete to John Ross. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Detroit! Detroit! Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals. Fresh set of downs here. Watch it now, Marty! Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Give him 30 yards there. zone now Mahomes and it's caught and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD KD Cannon with touchdown number eight on the year and the Bengals are able to grow their lead and oh it's blocked it's picked up a live ball here remember look at the big man rumble he's at the 50 he's at the 40 he's at the 30 10, 5, and he takes it the distance across the goal line for two points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Dances by him. Now that should give his guys a spark. He's up all the way to the 44-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Play action. It's Peterman. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. On third and one, Peterman. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now an Eastern Michigan man, Darius Jackson on the carry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him seven on the play. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Hurry up, hurry up. 
They go play action with Peterman. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second and ten. Peterman again. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. Well, when defensive coordinators game plan to put pressure on a quarterback, they often want to use blindside rushes, and that's exactly what they did there. The cornerback gets to him and drops him. Third and long, it's Peterman. Completes it to Moncrief, left side. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll get the lead down to five. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense, and over the post. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And now running right through it. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one first play of the drive let's give credit all around excellent blocking but the guy carrying the ball he was the finisher a really nice run again it's Camara, and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there three yards there good enough to keep the drive moving Two minutes remain here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. midfield and across the 45 yard line 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down Here we go now. Three, Mahomes now on first down oh it's a screen pass that's complete a good first down call as the screen play gets him nine for a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. The 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On play action, it's Mahomes. His throw caught at about the five. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. K.D. Cannon, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. Around the NFL, we've got a second quarter score. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Field it about a yard deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's Peterman to throw. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Peterman going underneath for Crowell. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall around the 37. We have hit halftime. And hello, I guess Larry's halftime show was buttoned through. And we are moving on and ready to go for the third quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Jordan Willis in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Second down, Peterman. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Peterman to throw. Screen play, Johnson. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. So fourth down, here's Peterman. He's got a man, it's Corey Coleman. Corey Coleman, 30, 20. An unbelievable play there on fourth and long. 78 yards. We know it's tough enough to pick up first downs on third down plays, but when you go for it on fourth down, sometimes you're actually just praying, and on that play, the prayer was answered. The first down carry here for Johnson. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one... They've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. On second down, here's Peterman. And he'll be hit at 
as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. The Browns on third down, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Peterman. And nowhere to turn for Peterman as he hits the turf. Jordan Willis in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Zane Gonzalez now to try the Browns' field goal. This one from 35 yards away. And Gonzalez puts this one through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So make it three field goals for him now. And this last one tightens things up a bit. And I know that offense is on the sideline right about now, checking out the tablets and saying, man, we let a good chance slip away there. We've got to start finishing some of these drives. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> and he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that will be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Second down following the incompletion. All right, here we go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Cannon. Yeah, they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Now here's Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Cannon. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. This is feeling a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Set. Out of the gun, Peterman. He finds an opening past the 40. And complete to Moncrief over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here we go now. Three, 19. Now Peterman on first down. And this is Moncrief for the catch. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. Throw on first down with Peterman. Monk 
Murray brings it in. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone.24. Jordan Willis in there to get him. And that is sack number 15 for him on the year. Now Peterman on second down. But he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. The Browns on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This will be third and 19. Oh, no, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. From the shotgun, Peterman. And he fires one that's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, Throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Going deep downfield for Ross. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL corner is like the autobahn everybody just flying by and these corners have been really busy in this game although they got it done on the last play on the last play yes but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively and once again not much running room if any at all calling no gain on the run there and now they'll be looking at a third down ten yards to go on third Shotgun snap to Mahomes, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fielded at the 33. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception, there goes Duke Johnson. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Johnson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit. And it's good. So that will get them back within one score. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the play. 
Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta have the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. Luke. I did, did not. Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. No dice this go around, he's hit behind the line and taken down. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. Second down, offense behind the sticks here, second and 13. Right, here we go. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. To throw, it's Mahomes. The loop, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Emmanuel Ogba in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 30. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. So they get the score, partner. Game's not over, but they still need some help here. Agreed. They definitely need some help, but they took care of the first part by scoring themselves. Here we go. The Browns will go for two. Peterman to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off with great anticipation. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. In his own end zone, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cannon. And they're going to get this one up past the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On the NFL scoreboard there in the fourth quarter in Philadelphia. And the Eagles have taken a lead late in that one. A victory there would mean their sixth on the year. Come back, see what transpires after this. down out to his left going and got his man complete and all the way in for a Cincinnati score a big play there his second 
touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Right, now, Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Crusher there as it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here Detroit, with a victory. Detroit, now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They run it again with Kamara. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Back to throw. Mahomes. Got a man. It's Ross complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. So the offense has it first and 10.